I am on a personal mission at this point to reduce how much stress, worry, and anxiety is out there in the world. I feel like it's become alarming, and it's not just my psychotherapy, life coaching, and energy healing clients that are suffering with a tremendous amount of stress, worry, and anxiety. I feel like it's out there everywhere and has become the new norm for people to live with stress and worry just as a way of life on a daily basis. And we've got to do something about this. So lots of the videos that are on YouTube that I posted recently are about creating the life that you want. And that is one way of managing stress, worry, and anxiety. Because once you take some power in your life and create more of what you want, your stress, worry, and anxiety does reduce. But I'm going to keep teaching other tools to use in order to reduce stress, worry, and anxiety. And today, this one is about developing your intuition and your ability to make decisions that are in alignment with you and your highest good, because that reduces stress, worry, and anxiety, because it develops trust for oneself and in the world. And when we feel like we can trust our decisions, we don't... Um, ruminate about them so much or we don't go and talk to every person in our lives and try to get their opinions on the decisions that we're going to make because we know what feels right for our own intuition and my goal is to have you not need to rely on me or another therapist or your parents or your friends or you know at your co-workers in order to feel like you're making the right decision for you. That trust and intuition has to be able to come from deep within yourself for you to really reduce your anxiety and worry, worry levels. So I'm going to teach you a really quick and very easy tool to use in order to develop your intuition that you can use for any decision that you make in your life. It could be a decision as small as what to eat for lunch, or it could be as big as whether you should move or sell your house or change your career or what you should do about uh, an issue with a relationship with a partner or with a friend. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to guide you through this tool. Now you could listen with your eyes open or you can close your eyes right now and I'll guide you through it so that you can really feel it. It'll only take us about three minutes or so, probably less. So go ahead and put your hand over your heart and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. And again, and then a nice deep breath with your hand over your heart. And so what I'm going to ask you to do is to bring to mind a decision that you need to make or that you need to get clearer on or feel more clarity about in life. And just because you know what you feel clearer about today, once we do this exercise, doesn't mean you have to make any new choices or do anything about it. It's just about getting clear with your intuition so that you can trust yourself and your own inner compass more. Okay, so think about something you're going to need to make a decision about and then put that on the side for a minute. And with your hand over your heart and your eyes closed, I'd like you to think about something else right now. I want you to think about a time when you made a very wise decision or a good decision for yourself. Just something that felt right. You did the right thing. It worked out well. You just knew it was the right thing for yourself. It was wise. It was really what we would call intuitive. And as you're remembering that with your eyes closed, the time when you made a good decision, I'd like you to notice how your body feels. Just drop down into your body and notice what's happening in your body as you're remembering this. And usually you might notice that you feel either warm inside or tingly or soft or peaceful or content or you're heart's not racing, your mind's not racing. Usually you feel just kind of good and soft when you've made, you remember making a good decision. Good. Now take a nice deep breath and continue with your eyes closed and keep your hand over your heart. And now what I'd like you to do is to think about one of the options for the decision you have to make. So think about option A. You know, you could go and this direction or that direction, A or B. Think about option A. 
bring that to mind. If you made that decision, what would that be like? Think about that decision, option A. And now I'd like you to notice how that feels in your body. What's happening in there? Do you still feel that same level of peace, softness, warmness, tingly, content, ease in your body that you felt with the wisdom, the wise decision from before? Or do you feel pain, a headache, anything rumbling in your tummy or in your gut? Just notice that. Very good. Now continue with your eyes closed and take a nice deep breath. We're clearing the space within you with that breath. And I'd like you to now think about decision B, the other choice that you have. Bring that to mind, that choice with your hand over your heart, your eyes closed. Bring that choice to mind and imagine making that choice. And how does that one feel in your body? Does it feel good, peaceful, soft? Does your body feel relaxed? Does your body feel pain, discomfort, agitation, pain in any way? Even the subtlest of signs, you're wanting to notice even the most subtle of reactions. Okay, you did great. Take a nice deep breath, and I want to tell you how to analyze or use that data to help you make some good decisions in your life. So with your eyes open, let's talk about this for a minute. Using this tool on your own, or you can always just come to this YouTube video and I'll walk you through it for a decision that you have to make. But when you're doing this, the first thing that we did was have you get aligned with what it felt like to make a wise decision. And once you re thought about that decision, your body reacted with a feeling that felt good within it. And this is one of the ways that you can detect if you are following your gut and doing something that intuitively feels right, is that it should feel in alignment in your body. It should vibrate right. It should feel good to you. If something feels off about it, we know that the body, which is an important part of your intuitive compass, is giving you a reaction. They're saying there's something not right about this that you need to pay attention to. You may not know what it is yet, but you want to pay attention to it and not make a decision yet until you figure that out. If when you did this, you noticed that choice A didn't feel good in your body, but choice B did feel good, choice B sounds like it's more in alignment with your intuition feels right to you. When it feels right in your body and in your mind, that lets you know you are on a better track. That's a better decision to make for who you are for your highest self. What if neither one of them felt good? If neither one of them felt good, it may be because your timing's off. This is not a good decision to make at this time. Neither A nor B is the right intuitive choice for you, and that maybe you shouldn't do anything yet until you think a little bit further, or you find out what that reaction is about. Are you scared to make one of those decisions? Do you need to deal with that fear? But don't do anything if neither one feels good. And lastly, what if they both feel good? Well, I've dealt with people having this and they've said, you know, should I move to the city or should I move to the suburbs? And both of them felt good because both of them would have been okay for them. So then, gosh, that's hard when you know that both things feel good. Then it's just a matter of choosing between good and good. That one's great and another one's great. And so either decision would be wonderful for you. It's just a matter of picking between the two over time when the time is right. If you have any questions about this, about using your own body, your own thoughts, your own feelings to, to really gauge your intuition, make choices with your intuition, let me know. You want to become more accustomed to using your intuition to make your choices versus other methods because your intuition is your inner compass that will guide you best. And when you use that intuition, your anxiety, stress, and worry drops down because you are more in a trusting place. And trust is really the opposite of stress, worry, and anxiety. So please send me any questions to Facebook, 